So I got the JBC equipment here. I recently contacted JBC on a brick device because I updated the software, just purchasing not even a month through a dealership through JBC because they didn't have any stations. They didn't have no four tool stations available to purchase. So I ended up purchasing a station from a third party recommended from JBC itself, the company contacting them because I could not purchase through them for some reason. Kind of strange. So I got the unit. Unit was uh, stuck in hibernation mode, which is an issue with their unit. So I pick up the iron and it's stuck in. I have a video out, you can check it out. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, after updating it, break the device, device is no longer in use sent it back to jbc it's under warranty obviously they send it all the way over to sweden or something like that i don't know where exactly it's not the point their technicians find out that the device is faulty faulty unit okay so wait in a couple months that the technicians found it being faulty manufacturer defect or something nah i don't think so they're selling old supply as new so nothing from jbc for a couple months yeah they created a fake tracking number to be shipping a new unit out but never came i got that tracking number too still no updates so they don't even know what's going on i contacted the office contacted sales contacted sales reps everything you can imagine trying to contact the u.s company to get the four tool unit replaced the reason why i'm doing this video is other people that want to purchase jbc equipment watch out stuff's not going right this is a story and a half they can't replace my four tool unit sorry to say so they ship two two units to replace the four unit now look how much desk space this is the whole reason why i was getting rid of my old betsy over here this is old betsy so old betsy runs works good display never had an issue with old betsy but the touch on the newer unit that i had is supposedly supposedly a newer unit but it wasn't it was probably a unit that was produced during chip shortage so they cheaped out on the models and everything with the displays, cheap components, and processors. Now they shipped these units out to replace. My question is, is what's going on with JBC tools? Now I know you guys are subscribed to my channel. Hopefully you guys watch this video and take some lessons because this is very frustrating as you can see I'm very frustrated not to take it out on the camera or anything like that but for tool unit having four tools in one unit but their touch response was laggy didn't even respond you touch it it doesn't work it, it was crap put it that way so i don't know if they pulled the units and they're just trying to sell then you know the remote soldering equipment because you could purchase the four tool, but where's my four tool? Why am I getting two units in replacement of one unit? Now, it even gets better, you guys. Like, I have no issues with old Betsy over here. Look at this thing is, look at it, yellow, yellowed. You could tell it's been used. I've had this thing for so many years. But if you could look real closely right now on this video, you can see an issue, another design flaw on their end. I'm not gonna go over to, oh man. Just frustrated, just frustrated. Granted, I mean look, here we can go over to the left here. So you see I have irons here, right? JVC irons, right? HDMI ports, that's what I use that one for. And then tweezers. That's another whole story. Their design flaw on their tweezers. These work awesome right here, these ones. But the adjustable tweezers, no, no good. What I'm getting at is the replacement unit. They have no replacement unit. I don't know a timeline. I don't know a timeline or anything when I'm supposed to get another device or am I supposed to get this replaced with a a touchscreen unit with the touchscreen is not 
fancy. They they changed the design on the floppy here. They have a design flaw with these too. Can you imagine if you're soldering and you accidentally hit the button, you're triggering, you're triggering your stuff, right? And the button sticks. If you're watching this, see the button, it's stuck. See the okay button? See the okay button? Oh, see I just popped it out. There, it's stuck. Can't make this up. Well, there we go. Pop back into place. Let's see if we can do the, the bottom buttons. Oh, the bottom button's stuck. Look at it. It's still not stuck. I'm rubbing my fingers across this. You can't make this stuff up, man, you guys. Cheap crap, man. Don't look at this. <laughs> My God, dude. Oh, this is not even funny. Let's get that button on stuck. You ready? Oh, we need to work it. Work it out. There we go. It worked out. See, you just hit the buttons. What well, you're expected to do, right? But then we come over here. Sorry for my filming, you guys. We come over here. Oh, we got a button stuck. We gotta pop that free. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Free that. You know, free it. Oh, man, the last button stuck, man. Wow. All right, let's pop it free. Oh, we popped it free. Oh, we got the I button. The I button. Oh, we got that stuck. We got it unstuck it. Oh, we stuck it to the bottom now. Dang, it's being triggered. What crap, man. So here, let's go to the bottom one here. You guys. Other unit. Look at That one's sideways. You see it? It's sideways. It's stuck sideways. Oh, there's the OK button. Let's just try to stick all the buttons. Let's just try doing all that. Is this a design flaw or is this OK, you guys? I'm going to end the video on this. I don't even want to boot the devices up or anything show you guys. But what crap. What crap. Let's grab a sponger. Yeah, I'm going to call JBC out on this with the station replacing the touch screen with two units, everything with these crappy units need to be called out oh we just popped it free oh we just popped it free oh we just popped it free oh that was a big one oh we got one more you guys oh wait nope we got one more oh yeah what crap So I don't really know what's going on, JBC. Hopefully you fix this crap. I don't even want these stations. You have no issues here. I mean, I could try to press on the corners here. Try to jam these up. It's not going to happen, man. You could push the buttons. You don't have to worry about them getting stuck. See, look at that one's stuck just from touching it. 
Oh, that's stuck. Oh, we're, we're, oh, oh, that's stuck. That's stuck. What the hell crap is this? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching.